Hey everybody, this is Ashley with Publish with Ashley, and I just wanted to show you a cool tool. Uh, it's Google Ads Keyword Planner, and you just type into Google uh, Keyword Planner and or Google Ads, and you're going to have to create a Google Ads account, and you might have to actually run a ad and then stop it real quick. I'm not sure, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, but you do need to create an account. So I'm on my Google Ads and um, I clicked on the keyword planner. So if you're just in Google Ads, um, I'll show you, you can click on, just say you're somewhere in Google Ads, you can click on this tools and settings and you're going to see that you can click on the keyword planner here so I'm going to click on that keyword planner and I'm going to get back here So the Google Ads keyword planner. Now what I'm going to click on is discover the light bulb, discover new keywords. And what I decided to start with was uh, activity books because I love low content, but you kind of got to do, I guess what most of us are kind of calling medium content, low medium content. It has to have, you know, something in it other than blank pages or just notebooks, things like that. So activity books are great. Uh, you can do an activity book for so, so many things. And if you want ideas or you want um, good keywords, the Google ad keyword planner is a great place to go. Now I know, you know, Amazon is its own keywords and you can do lots of tools that are free for, um, keywords on Amazon, but this is just another tool in your toolbox, right? Uh, it's, Google isn't exactly the same as Amazon, but yet the same type people are searching on in search engines for, you know, Google uh, as well as Amazon. And obviously Google goes to Amazon for a lot of things. So uh, someone might be searching on Google and end up on Amazon. It's actually very common. <laughs> I do it. I did it the other day. So I wanted to show you how to use this because it is a free tool and it can give you a lot of ideas. Like I... I got some really great ideas from this. And then you can go on Amazon and check out uh, Amazon and its competition and stuff like this. But it's really nice because you can export an entire uh, CVS file with all the information. So let me show you how it works. So I'm gonna type activity books, activity books, okay? And I've hit enter and then I'm gonna hit get results. Now it's going to think for a second, um, not too long because it's pretty fast. And I'm going to go over here to key, refine keywords. I'm going to go down to this brand and non-brand. I'm actually going to take out anything that's brand name. We can't, you know, be Crayola. We can't be Leapfrog. We can't be any of those other things. So like here, Useborn, Pete the Cat, Disney, all this is, you can't make those. So uncheck it. Um, it just, it makes the searches, it, it's easier to sort through. You have less to look through that really isn't relevant. You're not going to be using those. Um, and then there's some other things you can look for. I think this one had like the very hungry caterpillar. Um, that's something you can't do because that's actually a book if you're not familiar with it. Um, some of these things you may or may not be familiar with, right? Um, but click everything you know is a brand or a book or something like that. Uh, like I know here this going on a bear hunt, that's a book. Uh, so that's a no, but I'm just going to leave it in. And then what I would do is you go over here and hit download. So um, you can do a Google sheet or a CVS um, file. I'm just going to download the CVS file. Okay. So it's downloading that. And then I'm going to go through this and show you what I have. So give me a second and I'll pull that up. All right. I pulled up and I actually went through and um, not as and I, this is my red or these are no, like, we are going on a bear hunt. I didn't highlight this. I just went through really quick and things I knew were um, brands and things that I wasn't going to do. I just went through and kind of highlighted them in red. So what this is, is it's downloaded it and it's, uh, this is the U.S. currency. This is the average monthly searches in Google, um, year change, high competitive. This is for uh, advertising. So, I mean, you can look at it but we're just trying to get ideas here of things that might be good. Uh, let's see. Uh, none of the rest of the stuff I really pay attention to. Honestly, I kind of only look at the searches and the words and it's really to get a, a good idea. So like I said, um, activity book isn't specific enough. World book day, maybe. Uh, going on a bear hunt, no. We're going a bear hunt, no. Book week, probably not specific. Paint by sticker, we're not gonna be doing that sort of thing. 
The Very Quiet Cricket, I'm guessing that is a book. The Napping House, probably a book. So these are probably books. Um, so a lot of these I've just kind of gone through. Family Adventure Book, okay, that might be something. Uh, family Adventure Book, 5,000 search per month on Google. Uh, I like to look for ones that are four, about four keywords, a long tail keywords of four, but this might work. This might be something uh, you can maybe family camping adventure, or you, you can add another word in there to make it a longer tail keyword that's a little bit more specific to a specific audience. Uh, family adventure uh, travel book, family adventure game book. Uh, there's you know there's different things you can add in there. So that's that's maybe an interesting one. So here I'm going to highlight that. Oops, wrong one. Highlight that in kind of a green color here. Okay number color by number books that's actually something you can do you can actually create color by number books and you know that would be a really good tutorial so maybe i'll try and create a tutorial of that for you guys um, sight word books definitely something halloween fingerprint activities actually i thought this would be a great idea um, this would definitely take a little bit more research and thought but you could make a fingerprint uh, activity book where kids put fingerprints and make drawings and things it actually would be kind of fun um, if you don't know what I'm talking about I don't I have a fingerprint activity book for my kids and they really enjoyed it so it's something I know um, probably not sensory book a lot of this stuff like Goldie Bear locks and three bears these are books so I kind of just skipped down until I found this one the big activity book for anxious people um, I think the big something books might have a trademark so you want to check for that but I liked the idea of activity book for anxious people okay that's a really great keyword that's a long tail keyword to a specific audience okay um, I kind of scrolled down dot to dot books for adults that's probably good uh, let's see the big fat activity book for pregnant people um, <laughs> there you go there's something um, that you could definitely do that as a long tail keyword. Like I said, I think the big fat might be a trademark, so just check on that. But still, activity book for pregnant people, pregnant women, pregnant first time mothers, you know, various things like that. That actually would be a really good activity book for first time mothers to kind of give them, you know, uh, scrapbooks they could make or, or ideas and, and things that they could make or start to write down. Um, not just journal their pregnancy, but to do some other stuff to prepare for their coming baby. That actually might be a good idea. Um, so this is what you do. You kind of go through and just look for ideas of things that maybe you really hadn't thought about. Because this is very, it's much more broad than Amazon. Amazon's going to return, you know, exactly kind of what you typed or very close. This is a lot of extra stuff, which is good for getting ideas. Um, let's see preschool activity books, right? Rhyming books for kindergarten. That actually gets searched 500 times a month, so that might be something. Uh, I know my daughter had a really hard time with rhyming. <laughs> she still does, and she's eight. Rhyming, she just doesn't get. So this actually might be a problem that um, for parents, like I said, my daughter has a real hard time rhyming, and I get very frustrated with this. I don't understand why she doesn't get it, and I, I know that's, that's me not understanding her, but uh, and I understand it could be not understood. I just don't get it, right? It doesn't make sense to me. Um, but somebody who maybe had a problem learning to rhyme or something like that could create a really good book to teach kids, you know, in some step-by-step -step fashion rhyming. Or maybe it's just about repetition. Um, so, you know, you could really think of something, if, especially if you had something you found difficult, like phonics for me. Oh my gosh, I was terrible at phonics as a kid. I'm still terrible. Um, so I had all these coping mechanisms uh, because of my inability to understand phonics. So if you had something like that, you can you know, really help other parents or help people who had similar or have similar problems. So think, you know, broad. Fun ways to teach sight words. There's a good one. Like I said, I just went through quick and highlighted some green, but now I'm going through. Activity books for two-year-olds. That's gonna be very, very basic stuff. <laughs> Two-year-olds, yeah, they need very basic, basic activities. Uh, let's see. First Day Jitters book. This, I thought, would make a great children's book. 
because kids are really scared to go to preschool and kindergarten or first grade or the, they're scared. So first day jitter books, this is a really good idea. And it's kind of very specific in the sense that jitters is a little bit, um, it's one of those words, usually jitters isn't a common, common word, but people do use it often to describe that anxious feeling, right? First day, um, first school day anxiety books. There's, there's other things you could use, but I like this as a keyword, jitters. Um, it might be end up being a back end keyword instead of uh, your title, because some people might use the word jitters instead of anxiety or anxious or something like that. Just depends where you are in uh, you know, the world, the country. Mindfulness coloring book, learning books for two year olds. See, this would have to be really basic. Um, Halloween activity books, Easter, brown bear, no, right? No on brown bear, that's a book. Uh, let's see. Nothing like cheap coloring books, that's not your thing. Anxiety activity book. Uh, let's see other things in here. Just going through tiny seeds activities. Yeah, maybe teaching kids um, some sort of science thing or coloring books about uh, the plant process. And uh, I remember as a kid, I learned, had a coloring book about uh, rain and precipitation, how it goes, you know, it goes into the clouds and comes down. I think it was Ricky the Raindrop. Um, so you can make your own character. I'm pretty sure Ricky the Raindrop would be trademarked, but it could be, I don't know, Ranger the Raindrop or something. I'm not really sure. Maybe you come up with something cuter than that. Rudolph the Raindrop. <laughs> I think of a reindeer. Um, anyway, so, you know, you can do something like that. Let's see. So anyway, um, Magical tracing workbook. Oh, so tracing workbooks. There might be some um, tracing things you could do um, that they can practice tracing their letters or something like that. Uh, let's see. Rainbow fish drawing. Apparently people want to learn how to draw a rainbow fish. I think that rainbow fish they're talking about is a, a character from a book, but there are real, you know, rainbow fish trout. So maybe something with fish that might be interesting. Extreme dot to dots. Um, dragons love tacos. That's a no because that's a book. 365 science experiments. Um, that gives you the idea. What other 365 day things could you do? Uh, anyway, you get the idea. You just kind of go through. And if you are not good at identifying trademarks, like I, I know a lot of these. Um, one fish, two fish, that's a Dr. Seuss book, uh, Cranky Bear, um, let's see, Rhea, that's a Disney character. So if you're not as familiar with some of these, you can always um, Google it, and if something comes right up with a, a character that looks trademarked or has Disney on it, and you can always put it in TESS, which is the T-E-S-S, -S. you can put the U.S. Trademark Office into Google and it should come right up. And then the UK one too. I think I've just looked up UK uh, trademark checker in Google and it came right up. So it's it's not really hard to check these things. Because um, if I'm unsure, I should check. Oh, here's one. I, the chakras activity book and journal. If you know or are an expert in chakras, there you are. Phonics activity books. Like I said, <laughs> I was bad at phonics. But, you know, some people are really good at it, or maybe they had trouble and became really good at it. So they have some techniques and tactics that would make it helpful for others. Solve other people's problems. Um, okay, anything else I see? Let me see if I, oh, there's another one. Sports books for middle schoolers. That's really specific, and there's something you could definitely do with that. I loved this one. <laughs> I totally love this one. Adventure date book for couples. Okay, I don't know if that would be a journal or you offer some suggestions, maybe you offer a hundred suggestions in the front and then it's a journal after that. That would be a really fun, I think that would be really fun. Um, and you could have a his and hers, like you could have her version of what it was and his impressions of that adventure, right? That would be kind of cool couples book, right? Um, let's see, what else? Did I highlight anything else? Big activity book for anxious people. We kind of talked about that. May's activity book. The Adventures Couple Book, Interactive Books for Preschoolers. Um, space Activity Book. Oh, let's see, did I? So you can see there's a lot of ideas here, right? How could you ever not have ideas? Oh, here, Activities to Teach Vocabulary to Preschoolers. 
wow, that's pretty specific. Maybe um, it only had 50 searches, so maybe you want to expand that out to activities to teach vocabulary to young children, to kinder kindergartners are probably um, closer to the vocabulary age than maybe preschoolers. But you could, you could try something like that and see what you find on Amazon. So that's kind of the idea here. And I wanted to show you how powerful the Amazon um, Ads Planner can be uh, because it gives you so many more ideas of things you can do than just typing activity books, I think, into Amazon. Because I, Amazon tries to come up you know, with what is most purchased and stuff like that. And that may not be an activity a region you can get into or a, a niche that you can get into without a lot of competition. But something like this gives you a lot more ideas and gives you maybe less competitive um, niches that you can kind of uh, hone in on. Like I love the big activity book for, or the activity book for couples, right? Adventure activities for couples, because yeah, you could make such a great book with just adding a little effort to come up with a hundred adventurous. Uh, and you could even, change it to be like a hundred um, uh, cheap or free adventures for um, adventurous people or adventurous couples. Um, and then you give them a hundred ideas of things that they can do cheap or free, right? People love stuff like that. A lot of young couples want to do a lot of fun stuff, but ne don't necessarily have a lot of money. So that you could offer them a service and then you have the journal part as the second thing. So you just have to come up with some uh, in hundred, you know, adventurous things that are cheap or free. And believe me, there is so many blogs and things like there. You could go and get a um, bunch of ideas and then create your own list. Um, it actually wouldn't be as hard as you think to make. Um, I get, I, I used to get a, a free and cheap things to do for your kids, like fun adventures for your kids. So I know there's couples stuff out there, or you could even take some of the kids ones. Um, would still be fun for adults, right? Not everything, but some of them would be. Like some of them were museums that were free and things like that. Uh, so there you go. I thought this was a really great way um, to give you some ideas that maybe you haven't thought of. And everyone always asks me what niche is profitable. Well, guess what? Here's some stuff that at least you know. It gets 5,000 plus searches a month on um, Google for some of these things. Right, so you know somebody's interested in it, and then you can see what the competition level is on Amazon as well. All right, I hope this is helpful for you. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to bring you guys great information and training for low and no content books. Actually, probably not as much no content, but definitely low content books. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much, bye.